Jesse, you wanted to be an astronaut when you grew up. And Aaron, you were going to be a ballerina. I thought I was going to be the first Olympic gold medal figure skater to also be president of the United States. And what are we now? NASA is broke. No one goes to the ballet. My ankles are too weak for ice skates, and my scumbag is not smooth enough for politics. All those years, teachers promising we could be anything we wanted to be, and we are this. Washed up grown ups standing in line for American Idol tryouts. Bloggers with our own YouTube channels grasping at the hope of viral like it's an Oscar because quantity is the greatest measure of self worth. We define ourselves by the number of people who watch the pages of our stories unfold. We never ask if the plots matter. Stop wondering who is reading your story. The world does not need more heroes. The world needs more acts of small kindness with no expectation of heroism. Yes. The truth is, you can't be anything you want to be. You can only be yourself in all the limits and glory of your own failing, but you can be yourself very, very well. Have you ever tried? Fame is freakish. <laughs> Most of us will live simpler lives. We will celebrate marriages, or sobriety, or being 18 and not pregnant, and aren't these landmarks as beautiful as the three points sunk at the buzzer? Aren't these simplicities as necessary? So what would you do if you knew no one would remember you, but you will be remembered by the accidents of daily interaction by the barista and the bank teller and your mother? So what would you do to be famous in your sister's eyes or your lover's? Anonymity isn't settling. It is the art of loving what you already have. So goodbye, astronaut, ballerina, Olympic figure skating president. You were never built to be that kind of hero, and the world never needed that hero. Yes. There is so much more important than fame. <laughs>